Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe. It's good to be here with you again today as we continue this journey through uh, what, what we're having again today is another penitential psalm in Psalm chapter 7. Have you ever played the blame game? I think the blame game is something that we play even as small children. You know, I can remember growing up and uh, my sister and I um, were notorious for using the blame game. Whenever somebody uh, did something that mom wasn't always thrilled with, well, we'd always blame the other person. For example, sometimes mom would bake some chocolate fresh chocolate chip cookies and those cookies would lay on a cooling rack right by the neck right by the oven and uh, sh the instructions were to have no cookies until we had dinner that night well it was so tempting as you walked into the kitchen and the smell of those cookies and there were probably several times where a cookie or two went missing and mom discovered that to be so and she'd ask us who took the cookies and it was so easy to blame my sister. Well, we have a similar reflection here on the blame game in our psalm today, with one exception. David is very honest about the blame game. In fact, he doesn't blame someone else. In fact, he actually blames himself. You know, that's the true uh, honest blame game is where we blame ourselves and we reflect and we actually repent and I'm not talking just about a silly cookie when we were small children but actual things that we're notoriously known for in our sin here's verse 3 O Lord my God if I have done this if there is wrong in my hands if I have repaid my friend with evil or plundered my enemy with cause let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it and let him trample my life to the ground and lay my glory in the dust. You know, David is very honest here. He's very, very reflective on the upon the point of, Lord, if, if I really have been a, a very violent, sinful person to my enemies, then they, they should come and, and, and return vengeance, almost an eye for an eye. You know, that is something to reflect on as that is kind of the, the mindset of the world. You know, when we sin against someone, the rightful thing is to return that sinful behavior. But hear what verse 8 says. The Lord judges the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to the integrity that is in me. You know, by definition, the word mercy really is probably simply put as not getting something we deserved when we did something opposite. In other words, when we sin, we should have see, received God's judgment and God's vengeance on his uh, desire to put our sin to death. But no, God bestows his mercy, something that we didn't earn something that we didn't merit, and he gives it to us. And a close word uh, synonym to mercy is grace, undeserved merit, love, and God's forgiveness. No, Jesus didn't get what he deserved. No, he was the perfect sinless person who, who didn't need to repent, who didn't have any sins to confess, but yet bore our sin on the cross. I want to conclude you with verse 17. I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord the Most High. You know, we're in the month of November, and, and the word thanks and thanksgiving often comes to our minds. You know, the reality is we are sinful human beings and we don't deserve God's righteousness or his forgiveness, but yet out of his divine love, mercy, and grace, he willingly and lovingly gives it to us in Jesus Christ. 
And as David writes, our thanks, our praise is due to him. So today, as maybe you're beginning your day, maybe you're reflecting in this middle of the day, maybe you're even viewing this at the end of the day, let's do two things. Let's reflect on our sin. Let's confess that sin to our loving God. And let's be reminded of his great forgiveness. Will you pray with me today? Father in heaven, I praise your name, O Lord, for you are so merciful and gracious to us. Despite all the times we sin and disobey you. Despite all the times we sin and disobey against our neighbor. But thanks be to God for your forgiveness. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Have a great day as a redeemed child of God.